broke that Ryan Buell, who is known for his work on Paranormal State, was arrested on felony charges of theft and stolen property. Uh, he was on, also arrested on a misdemeanor charge of theft of services. That stems back to his 2014 Conversations with the Dead tour that he booked across the U.S. and Canada, where he sold, uh, I think the number I saw was around $80,000 mm-hmm. worth of tickets, and then canceled the shows, didn't pay any of the venues, pocketed all the money, never gave any refunds, uh, which he blamed on his pancreatic cancer, which the world still is not exactly sure if he actually has, uh, because he seems to be doing pretty well health-wise for somebody who had pancreatic cancer and has shown no other signs of it. Uh, but this whole new case has something to do with uh, with taking a rental car and, and just all kinds of problems. So uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out for him. But how does this reflect on, in your opinion, Chris, the paranormal world? Are people going to look at other investigators, uh, especially those who are the quote-unquote celebrity ghost hunters, with crossed eyes now based on the fact that this guy has become such a a well-known scam artist and now criminal? I mean, I think that anyone who would have a negative opinion of the paranormal um, has already seen this coming. I mean, this is just more of like, you know, in terms of him himself, no one was surprised that, to see this. No one in the paranormal field was surprised to see this. It was just a matter of time. Um, so I think that any damage he might have done, you know, they're, they're, they're big headlines. All the headlines mentioned, you know, Ghost Hunter does this. Um, but I think that, like, you know, the damage that he did to the paranormal field in terms of, you know, their reliability in, in terms of these conferences and things like that, I think that's been done. I think that, that he, you know, he kind of bad couple of years and a lot of people i th- i think are more hesitant to like join the 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 bigger conferences and things like that because of that but i'm not sure if this is going to revive something because i think it's already out there well i'm gonna ask, first of all the first question i'll ask is you know and you, we've talked about this before uh probably off the air but maybe on there as well where you know if you are involved in this research if you're involved in this world and there's something that you do that makes headlines that's what people are going to gravitate toward it becomes kind of a uh you know it's something that looks really cool in a headline when it's a positive story about you but it's something that can be very damning when it's a negative story 